Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Daily Decrypt. Today it takes 247 dollars, 216 euros, or 161 pounds to purchase one Bitcoin. Bitcoin Core developer Jeff Garzik has tweeted that the Bitcoin Core client's minimum transaction fee has been increased from 1,000 satoshis to 5,000 satoshis. This in an attempt to decrease the size of the growing unprocessed transaction pool, which has led to the drop-off of many full nodes. Further examination of the Bitcoin pull request reveals that the measure is intended to be temporary until, quote, a dynamic method for determining the fee is merged. Does this mean that price discovery in transaction fees is coming to Bitcoin? Time will tell. Forklog reports that the NXT team is reaching out to those who would like to conduct crowd funds by issuing their own tokens on the NXT network. Tokens created to fund a project would be listed as crypto assets on the NXT asset exchange. The NXT team encourages those who sell crypto tokens on their asset exchange to offer incentives to buyers, the way Indiegogo and Kickstarter contributors are also offered incentives for contributing to projects. JoinMarket is a newly released piece of open source software which should allow people to mix their bitcoins trustlessly and without using central servers. Those who are willing to make their bitcoins available for others to mix with can earn a small profit while allegedly maintaining the private keys to their coins the entire time. Meanwhile, those who would like to mix their coins can choose from among the open sell orders for those whose coins are waiting and ready to be mixed. The statistics aggregation site Coin.Dance has released new charts showing the sales volume of localbitcoins.com over the past two years. Charts are subdivided by region, but can also be seen as a global aggregate. While there has been considerable variance among region, the global aggregate chart of trade volume has shown a steady increase for the past two years. The Hacker News reports that as part of launching internet.org, Facebook has announced that they will launch a satellite into space in 2016 that will provide free internet to those residing in sub-Saharan Africa. The $500 million satellite will be carried by SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. The Hacker News also reports that a new Linux-based operating system entitled Cubes OS seeks to be the most secure operating system by compartmentalizing user data into various virtual machines. The developers of Cubes OS hope that this modulation of data makes users less prone to full computer hacks as their data is separated into several instances of virtual machines. And lastly, this poster was spotted in several locations at the recent meeting in Lima, Peru of the World Bank and the IMF. That is it for your Daily Decrypt. Subscribe to our channel if you found any value here whatsoever and check out our podcast for your busy lifestyle.